Good morning. Welcome. I pray that uh, you're doing well. I pray that God is moving in your life, spending 10 minutes with me every morning, Monday through Friday. We're hoping some things will change in your life. This week we've been talking about um, San Diego, just reminiscing in a way, seeing how God has moved in great things. I've told you in one of the shows how first time we went when we had 37 people, but I knew God was sending me. That was something I wrote down on my on my marker board at the prayer room that we had at the conference room that we had and 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 I uh, wrote that on there. I wrote some other cities, but San Diego, um I did I just knew God was gonna send us eventually. We're having people come into our last Los Angeles healing services, um a few dozen or so from the from San Diego making that trip. So I said why not go out there? So by faith we went out there. 37 people the first time. The second time 500 people at night and a thousand people in the morning with both this church service and the people that came to visit us and many miracles happened there. Uh, made some good friends. And before I forget, let me put some of this tickers up so you can see. Made some good friends when I was out there. And so they opened up that church for us that we had that many people, 500 at night and another 500 on top of that. And then, and then um, I'm about to, thinking about going again, I get a call from a friend and this was in 2021 um they called and they they asked is is that the the the, um they just wanted to see if we'd come out there and minister i was actually uh working it out back and forth and then i ended up in disneyland with my my daughter and my wife on a cruise and now i'm about to jump on i think with roger rabbit ride or something and and i get a call i had to leave the ride to go talk to him on the phone and, and, and within three weeks we plan it I'm going to be there in in less than three weeks, and I booked my ticket, booked my hotel right there, ready to go, trusting God's going to do it. And then I get a call from them a week before the event if I already booked my ticket in my hotel. And I said yes. They go well. We're going to go in and keep it. We're thinking about moving it to another month, but we're going to keep it. It's their their year in service that they have, and he has a few hundred people in his church. And maybe a couple hundred people, and he just wanted to, to see about moving it to, to get more people in. And I'm like, you know, whatever you want. Now, I'm walking out in faith. I'm trusting God's about to do something big. And all of a sudden, he says, "Go ahead and just keep it. We're gonna make the, we're gonna make it work. We'll make it work." I said, "Amen. Let's do it." So I show up. This time, I didn't take a, a drive from San Diego, from Los Angeles, San Diego. I learned the last time. <laughs> I took a flight straight to San Diego and I took got my hotel was picked up, taken to the hotel. And they told me, uh, you know, we're going to see tomorrow night for the service. I'm like, that's fine. And I think we only had one service. Yeah. I think we'll have one service, one, it's a, their big reunion um, of other churches and stuff. This is what was waiting for me on the thing. Boom. 1,000 people, 37, 500, and now 1,000 people are there. And I can just continue through the, the, this thing, uh, showing these pictures. And it's amazing to see how God's doing this. 1,000 people showed up. Now, I talked to the pastor, and I'm like, um, well, that's great. That's great. That's great to see these people. And and he's like, this is phenomenal. I'm waiting in the room. Let me see if I can find a picture of me waiting in the green room. Um, I'm a, uh, I'm waiting in the green room, waiting for these pastors to go, waiting for the pastors to um to uh whatchamacallit. This is me just playing around in the green room. I'm uh taking pictures and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm just putting a picture on, <laughs> getting a good picture. I haven't went outside to see the crowd. I'm sitting in the green room. Imagine me in the green room. I'm resting. Um, and then let me see if I can find something else here. So I'm resting. I couldn't get a good a good picture. And of course, I'm like, okay, I sneak out, I sneak a peek. And that picture, this is the picture I took when I stuck a peak.
the place was packed all the way to the back. They had to find chairs to put. They had a big dinner or a lunch or dinner on the outside waiting for us. They had to bring those chairs that were outside in the church, packed in over a thousand people. It was amazing. It was just so powerful to see what God did. It was amazing to see how, how, um, and there's this the picture I showed you. And then there's the pastor right there with the microphone and they're getting ready to go out there. I'm sitting there waiting to preach now. Um, it, it's just amazing to see how faithful God is. Faithful to when you just believe and trust him. Faithful to know that that you're just you're just doing what you do. You, you're just believing what God sent you to do. You're trusting that things are going to change. And a lot of my ministry, I just go, I believe, I trust, I move forward. I just go, I just go and I do God's work and, and I just trust him. I just trust him. I just, I just know that, that, that uh, he's going to provide and, and it's, it's, it is a test of faith. It is, it is, but you got to push your faith. You got to be ready to go. You got to understand miracle from this. I'm telling you this young man heard about this service. Pastor George, my other friend, uh, one of the pastors, or not the main pastor, but one of the, one of the pastors, a good friend of mine, I prayed over him in San Diego in the first service of 37 people. I prayed over him, and I imparted my gift and prayed over him that the miracles would follow. He shared with me a testimony of this young boy that came with his family. He's about six years old. It was leukemia. He has leukemia. And he went back home. They came, all their family, I'm talking mother, grandmother, uh, father, cousins, all came. Two, three cars came across from Tijuana to from to come to the service. I prayed over him. On the way home, they lived a bit above Tijuana, below Tijuana, a little bit further down, in a small little Mexican city. And when they are halfway there, they're already across the border. They're going. He looked at his mom. And he got up, and of course he's sick. He got up and he smiles and he hugs his mom. And he says, "Mom, I feel better." She goes, "What?" They pull the car over. The boy was healed. He wasn't sick anymore. He hadn't been sick since that day. God healed him of leukemia. The family rejoiced because they were all there in the service. They all heard the message. They all seen me pray for this child. God touched this kid. And it just happened to be when he was driving home that he felt that God touched him. And he went back to his city, back to his little village. And do you know that everyone in those three cars gave their heart to Jesus because Pastor George had to go to that city. And they said, we don't know what to do. How do we come to Jesus? And he went over there and he led them in prayer. And, and he prayed for them. And he, he led them to the prayer. And they came into the kingdom. Amen. And then, not only them, but everyone that they were related to. Imagine a whole family coming to Jesus. I'm talking not just the house, but I'm talking the family. Everyone, cousin, uncles, aunts, gave their hearts to Jesus over that boy's miracle. Now, that's amazing. That's just amazing. Leukemia healed. It's amazing to see what God does. It's amazing to see how God does it. It's amazing to see the movement of God just moving very powerful, very powerful. I'm excited that I could see something like that. And there's so many testimonies I don't, I don't even hear of because I'm not around. I, I go, I pray, I go, I take off. I go back to the next city. Only when I get to come back. Only if I run into someone from there, they go, do you know I was healed? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was in. I was in Nairobi in Kenya. I was over there by the Mwiki, um, by Mwiki, which is kind of like the slums. I was out there in the Mwiki area, but they have a mall and everything. So the slums are really off the freeway. <laughs> so I was by the freeway, the expressway, the main road, and not much of a freeway because it got bumps all over them. But uh, there's a mall, and I went to the, the Nakama Mall, and we went there, and I was going to eat at this place that, that has them. Um, yeah, they have pretty much good American food, burgers, chicken, 
made like we like to see it made and, and they have very good um, dawa. And dawa is a drink that you drink after you've preached or if you have a cold, it has ginger, lemon, and honey in it. And everyone makes it a little different, but it has the same taste almost. And they make the best dawa. So I love having my dawa. In fact, I was at the airport one time and asked for dawa. And the lady looked at me, hey, you a native boy. You just only, only us locals know what dawa is. But I use, I drink one every time I preach there. And it's one of my favorite warm beverages for my throat. And I was going to go wash my hands. So I was going to the loo. And as I was going that way, the 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 um, lady See, some lady stopped me as I was walking, as I was coming back. And she's like, Dr. Yannis, I mean, who do I know <laughs> in, uh, in Nairobi? And she stopped me and I go, yes, ma'am. And she goes, I can't believe I see, I'm seeing you here. I was just thinking of you. I go, well, yeah, I'm having services in Milwaukee. She goes, oh, okay, with, Bish with uh, Bishop Sammy. I go, yes. He goes, well, guess what? You prayed for me and I was healed. I had a tumor in my belly. And the minute you prayed for me, I was healed. I just wanted to give you a hug. That was a year or two before that she was healed. And she still remembered it. And she, she seen me walking. Oh, God is wonderful. We don't know who we influence. We don't know who we touch. But I pray that God is touching you right now. I pray that God is moving in your family. I pray these words are encouraging. And I pray that God moves greatly. Father, we lift up everyone that is watching in Jesus' name that you move right now. Everyone, Father, that is hearing this message, Father, this short 10 minutes of talk, testify and pray that you will move in a great way, that you will change things in their life right now, that healing will happen, that faith will happen even now. In Jesus' mighty name, we restore what the enemy has stolen. Seven times what Proverbs says, Father. If the thief be found, they must return seven times in Jesus' name with interest, Father. And we believe healing. Healing, healing right now. Leukemia gone, cancer gone, blindness gone in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to keep sharing with you, but I got to go. God bless you. Thank you for spending 10 minutes with me. If you're here for the extended broadcast, stay, stay, please stay tuned. God bless you.